Congratulations for order of oil and gas project. Thank you. Our sales team worked very hard to get the order. Many visits, meetings, giving so many compliances finally resulted in the order. Great. And this time it is with E and I scope. Yes. Hope you are now geared up to execute it. Yes. But how we will do E and I scope? We don't have instrumentation and electrical engineering expert. Why E and I engineer required? There are very few instruments and motors. We need to do cost saving as the order has very low margin. But exactly how we will do it? Motors and other things we will buy from pump vendor. For instruments, float the enquiries with process data and with tender specifications and buy it from the approved vendor. And let us buy the cables and trays same way. Do work out the quantities with respect to the plant layout. Copy data sheets of earlier project of the same client, it will not change. Engineering cost is very negligible, as per market practices only. We will save the engineering cost and increase our margin. As original margin is very less. Okay. Client has rejected supply of instrument items. They are saying not as per the specifications. How did it happen? We copied the same spec of earlier project. We also have client approval on it. Client informed that earlier spec was for different plant. Also for this process fluid there were some specific requirements which is there in the tender specifications. But they approved the documents. They approved the documents with the rider. That it is vendor's responsibility to comply the project spec. Okay, it is already over budget now. But now we have no option. Let us change it. Please speak to the vendors. Amend the purchase orders and request them to dispatch the material fast. Remember, there is late delivery clause. Hello sir, we are facing many issues while starting the plant. Process recycle line control loop is not working. One control valve is chattering. Also, level transmitters on the process water tank is malfunctioning. Temperature transmitter is not showing the reading. Transfer pump motors are getting tripped, cables are heating. Why there are so many issues? Call the service engineers of these instrument items and resolve it. Service engineer per day visit cost? No matter what the cost. Service engineers report says, installation guidelines are not followed for instruments. Hence not working. For temperature instrument, new sensor need to be ordered as it is fouling inside the vessel. Because, we cannot change the vessel nozzle after inspections and testing is done. For motors, service engineer report says, motor cable needs to be changed, not sized properly. But short length sensor will not sense. Cables are so expensive to order it again. We are in loss, but no option. Else it is matter of reputation. It needs to resolve at any cost. It would have so much better, if we would have appointed, instrumentation and electrical engineering expert. It also needs to respect E and I interface documents. To save, X, cost, we spent, 100X, to resolve it.